Hello and uh, welcome to this short tutorial video. My name is uh, Mr. Simoma. Okay, so that's my name. And uh, what we are going to cover in this short video, we're going to look at scientific notation and significant figures. So we are going to look at... Uh, all right, so going to look at scientific notation and significant figures in physics. So now, uh, you will agree with me that uh, we have numbers that are very large and we have numbers that are very small in quantity. So in physics, we can be dealing with uh, large numbers or very smaller numbers. And as such, we have what we call scientific notation and significant figures. So a question may arise to say, what then is scientific notation well scientific notation is just a simpler way of expressing a very large number or a very smaller number in a very uh, easy way and convenient way to write it on um, whatever um, point where you're writing it from so I'm going to write it to say it's um, a simpler way of expressing a number in the form a times 10 to the power n so we are expressing a large number or a smaller number in this format so what do we mean when we write it in this format well we mean the a is actually a number that is greater than 0 less than 10 and then the 10, it is how many times you've, I mean the n, it's how many times you've raised that number to an exponent. So now we're going to have examples to see how we can express numbers in scientific notation. Okay, so our first one we're going to have is 0 0.003. 0 0 Okay, so we have two numbers that we want to express in scientific notation. The most important thing that you need to know is, first of all, as you are given that number, you need to identify whether that number is a large number or it's a smaller number. So how do you tell? You look at the decimal point and relate whether that number is a large number or a smaller number. In our first example, we have 0.0. .0 0302. I think you can relate with me that this is a very smaller number. So how do you express this number in scientific notation? We are going to shift the decimal point so that the number after the decimal point is less than 10 but greater than 1. So in this case the point has to be after the 3 so that the, the number before the point is greater than 1 and less than 10. So in this case, the decimal point moves three times in this direction. Therefore, we are going to write it as 3.02 multiplied with 10 and then we have moved three times. When we move to this direction, then the exponent is going to be a negative the number of times we've moved to that point. So in this case, it's three times. So it's going to be negative three. So that's how we express a very smaller number in scientific notation. And therefore, we move on to the next example where we have uh, three 0, 4.5 and we want to express this number in scientific notation now this is a large number therefore the decimal point has to be um, moved to the left in this case so that it's between the 3 and the 0 so the decimal point will move two times in this uh, scenario therefore we are going to write our number and it's going to be 3.045 times 10 
the number of times we've moved the decimal point is two times. So we have moved this decimal point in this direction. When you move in this direction or to the left, if you want, you are going to have an exponent which is going to be a positive. And positive, the number of times we've moved, which is two. Therefore, positive two is the exponent. Therefore, expressing this number in scientific notation to give you that value. And expressing this number in um, scientific notation to give you that value. Therefore, we are going to have more examples to see how we can express numbers in scientific notation. It's very important that you learn the two important points. When you're expressing a large number in scientific notation, the exponent will become negative the number of times you've shifted the decimal point. And expressing a large number, then the exponent will be a positive the number of times you have shifted the decimal point. So, in summarizing what scientific notation is, it's just a simpler way of expressing the number in the form a times 10 to the power n. In other words, expressing the number in products of two, where a is a number or a digit less than 10 but greater than zero. And the n is the exponent, the number of times the decimal point is moved to and from. So this is how we express a number in scientific notation. In our next video, in our next uh, episode of the same video, we are going to look at what significant figures are. And now you state the number of significant figures in a measurement that is given in physics.